anybody gets pissed off at me over anything I say in this video, then maybe I've struck a nerve. Maybe I've said something that rings true. Maybe I have said something that hits home. Or maybe you just don't like me. Either way, listen up. The trash talking circle is not what it used to be. That, that, that's obvious. There's not as many people participating. Uh, the participation level is not the same. There's been a decline in the number of trash talkers. And I'm speaking about the college TTC, more specifically the SEC TTC. Uh, three years ago, one of the best hate weeks in the history of the TTC between Tennessee and Georgia. The beauty of the trash talking circle is it doesn't matter how you feel that your team may play or may not play. Some of us talk mad trash. We cut the other team to ribbons if we're good at it. That's just how it works. I'm not one of these people that's good at cutting another fan base to ribbons. But I like to think I'm pretty good at getting on here, getting fired up and saying, my team's going to whoop your ass. I don't care how down we are. I don't care how up you are. I love my damn team. And we're going to beat your asses whether we got four quarters worth in us or whether we got two quarters worth in us. I might look like a dumbass saying it. And a lot of people may be saying, well, he know, you know he don't believe that. It doesn't matter. The point is to get on here and rep your team. Now this week we got some Dog Pound members that are choosing not to participate in Hate Week because they feel like their team is so much better than ours. It's no fun. There's no point in getting on here and talking trash to a team that we know we're going to beat. Well, first of all, that's horseshit. It's not like Georgia's playing Buffalo again. Regardless of how down we are, Regardless of how big of a joke our program may, be, may have become in some people's eyes, it's fucking still Tennessee and Georgia. And I know you bastards. I know you fucking hate us. I know you want to beat us by 50 points. I know this because it's Tennessee and Georgia. I know you guys haven't forgotten the 90s when we kicked your ass year in and year out. Unfortunately, there was no TTC for us to participate in. Or maybe we'd be feeling like you guys are now. In some aspects, I understand where you're coming from because there was a time not too long ago that when Tennessee and Georgia rolled around, I laughed. I was like, Pfft, Georgia? Really? Can we just skip that and get on to the next one? Who does that sound like this year? That sounds like Georgia. Can we just skip this and get on to South Carolina? Personally, I think you guys are going to beat the shit out of South Carolina. Take Missouri, for example, Georgia. They had you guys on the ropes in the third quarter, late in the third quarter. You don't think Tennessee's better than Missouri? Let's be real, dog fans. You know, if you guys want to sit back like a bunch of bitches and not participate in hate week, that's fine. But don't lie. Don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to us. You know, don't tell us you're not worried about this game, at least a little bit. If I seem like I'm a little bit upset over this whole thing, well, then maybe it's because I am. You know, it's like all these assholes that keep calling into the radio talk shows here in Tennessee, and they've automatically, they've been doing this shit since the, time, since the summertime, automatically chalking up the Tennessee-Alabama game as a loss. Well, let's look at the schedule. We got Florida, we got Mississippi State, we got South Carolina, out, well, Alabama, that's a loss. You don't even look at that one. Then you got Kentucky and blah, 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 blah. F that. Have some people just chalked up Georgia as a loss? Like they're doing Alabama? No. F that. Georgia is not in Alabama's league. And you guys know how much I hate Alabama. Historically, last weekly, last nightly, or tomorrowly, or next monthly, Georgia never has been and never will be in Alabama's league. Damn it, they're not in our league. They might have a better record. They might have a better chance at winning the East. The last three or four years, they might be better than us, but they're still Georgia. We own them son of a bitches for years. Every team goes through a down phase. 
we're in our down phase. We're starting to turn it around and head back up. Is Derek Dooley going to get us back to the BCS title game? I don't know. But I'll say this. He's at least got some players in here. You know, he can't get out there on the field and make these guys play four quarters. Neither can we. There's nothing on this green earth that's ever going to make me stop saying, Georgia, you suck. We're going to beat your ass. Maybe one thing. When I draw my last breath, that's when I'll quit talking shit to Georgia, to Alabama, to Florida. Florida. I don't care if they beat us 18 years in a row. I still hate those bastards. And next year, we're going to kick your fucking asses. You damn right I get pissed off. I've seen some people this week lay down. You know, look, I'm not going to lie. After that Florida game last week, and even after the way we looked in the first half this week, I thought to myself, you know what? Georgia's probably going to beat the shit out of us. Georgia may beat the shit out of us. That's not the point. That's not the point, Tennessee fans, and that's not the point, Georgia fans. The point is, we hate you. It's f***ing hate week. Hate. I hate the Georgia Bulldogs. I hate that ugly-ass little sawed-off runt of a dog who's just high enough to stand under Smokey and turn around and lick Smokey's nuts. And that's what you Georgia fans can do. You can lick Smokey's nuts. Because my Tennessee Volunteers, we're not backing down from no fucking body. At least the real Tennessee Volunteers that put their orange on every week and get out there and give their all for 60 minutes. I realize some of those boys just don't have it in them. It's hard to know that when you recruit them. You can't know that kind of stuff. That's not something you teach. That's not something Dooley can teach to a guy. Do you think anybody had to teach Al Wilson how to get out there and break a Florida person's neck and create four turnovers and single-handedly win that 98 game? He had it in him. I've got it in me. I hate Georgia. And whether two dog pound members or 20 dog pound members get on here and make videos this week matters not in the end. What matters is that I hate the Georgia bull dicks. And when we come into your shitty stadium with your useless freaking bushes and kick the shit out of you guys, I'm going to sit back Saturday afternoon and love the hell out of it. And if we don't, guess what? I'll be on here again probably singing some stupid-ass girly song with paint on my face talking about, well, you guys were better than us again today. And the very next day, I'll be right back on the hate train. Looking forward to the next time we get a crack at beating you assholes. Screw everybody else in the SEC. I have no SEC love. I hope Alabama loses every game they play. I got respect for every team on our schedule. Because I know what all their fans go through. The diehard, loyal, undying fans that are just as passionate about their team as I am. But I don't want to see you bastards be happy. At least not when it comes to football. I wish everybody on here the happiest, healthiest life you can possibly have. Hell, Alabama fans, I hope each and every one of you guys ends up millionaires living on a nice country lake with a fishing dock out in the front and all the fucking Roll Tide merchandise you can stack in your trucks and trailers. Happiness to you, but fuck your team. And if you don't feel exactly the same way towards Tennessee, you ain't got nothing in you. Don't give me no bullshit about how, well, there just ain't no reason to make a video this week. Let me tell you guys something. A lot of people have talked a lot of shit about Magnum pissing on that Georgia hat. And I would personally never do that. But let me tell you something about Magnum. You guys can talk all the shit you want about him. You can say he's not loyal. You know, he, he don't believe in his team, whatever. Every year, Magnum, at least for Tennessee Hate Week, his ass has showed up. He gets on here every year and calls us assholes and fuck you motherfuckers and all that good shit. I admire that. At least I know he hates Tennessee. And I got more respect for a man that hates my program than I do for one that just don't give a shit. Go Vols. Dog Pound. Kiss my ass. And we'll talk to you bitches after the game Saturday. Win, lose, or draw.